Hey Fuzzy here. That's the Makokota River right there. I've never seen it so high. I've canoed this before with my dad and my brother, I think, a couple times. And uh, I don't remember this much water in it. I don't know if they have a dam up the way because there's pontoon boats and stuff here. Or if it just, you know, is a deep spot or maybe there's just a lot of water right now. These are so these are camp spots right here. I camped on top of a hill over yonder, came in from that direction. Kind of an interesting thing. All back there, looks like those lots are rented by the year, maybe, or even longer periods of time. It's like a hodgepodge collection of campers and a couple mobile homes and motor homes and just uh, even a couple shanties, you know, and literally a couple mobile homes. Some with metal roofs over them, the campers and things like that. But, uh, you know, they look definitely long term. It's like a little city of its own back there, a little town, I guess I would say. But on this way forward, you know, this is tent camping right here. Nobody here right now. And uh, this way forward, it looks like a really modern campground. You know, it's just from that point back that it changes into a, like I said, a little town of some sort. There's ADVs and jet skis and all of them not in the best of shape. But anyway, it's a beautiful morning for a walk. It's got to be, I suppose it's closing in on 60 now. But I'm going to get the old motorcycle out, I think, and run over to Makokota Caves. See what I can learn there. Beautiful morning. Beautiful place. Six Bees Campground is what it's called. It's just a couple miles from Makokota Caves and the town of Makokota also. Wahoo!